What you are about to see is the most overpowered high round strat in all of Black Ops 6. If you're trying to hit round 100 or even beyond, you've come to the right place. Before we jump into the gameplay itself, we actually gotta set up our loadout. Technically, you can start with any weapon that you want at the start of the match, but once we get deeper into it, you are going to need the GS45 pistols. So let's go ahead and whip up a class real quick for these. What you're gonna need is suppressors, long barrel, extended mag 2, rapid fire, and of course, the akimbo stock. Once you finish your build, go ahead and click on the weapon and then hit the left trigger to make it your zombie build. This will make it so that when we buy this off the wall later, it'll have all of these attachments preset on it. And now you can start the match with whatever weapons you want. Just make sure you put a suppressor on it. And as for the augments in this strat, we are going to be using Equivalent Exchange for Quick Revive, Probiotic for Juggernaut, Espresso for Melee Macchiato, Classic Formula and Quick Swap for Speed Cola, and Electric Cherry for Elemental Pop. Make sure you have upgrades for both napalm burst and for dead wire you can use whatever augments you want on these it's just going to help with the boss zombies later and for the field upgrades we are going to be rocking the energy mine in this strat so go ahead and throw on the scatter and siren augments we're not really going to need the energy mine until later on in the run so if you want you can use ether shroud in the earlier rounds i'd recommend using burst dash and extra charge also you will need the mutant injector for both of these strats so maybe just use a perm unlock on that and it's finally time to start the run. Besides building up points and salvage, you have three primary goals for these rounds. Turn on the power, open the map, most of it, and build the wonder weapon. Turning on the power is easy, the game literally tells you how to do this, and building the wonder weapon is also pretty easy. I'll link a guide in the description if you need one, although one important thing to mention is don't open this door. One of the strats I'll show you in this video won't even work if this door is open, so just keep it closed. As you play through the early rounds, make sure you're getting kills with your suppressed weapon. Suppressors allow the zombies to drop more salvage, and trust me, you're gonna need every scrap of it we can find. And speaking of which, if you head to the underground tunnels, you can actually dig up piles every round. They almost always drop salvage and other rare loot as well, so make sure you grab yourself a shovel and go check them out. Go ahead and use your points and salvage to upgrade your gun a little bit. Feel free to slap on the dead war mod as well, and go ahead and grab some perks. Make sure the first perks you buy are Stamina Up, Quick Revive, and Juggernaut. Should you take it down later, these will be the perks that that you'll get to keep. Once we reach round 15, this will be your first amalgam round. These guys aren't too hard to deal with, just slow it down with the wonder weapon and keep popping its heads until it's dead. Oh, no! Round 16 all the way up to 40 are going to revolve around maximizing your salvage and point gain. So you need to be getting the majority of your kills with a suppressed weapon, utilize double points anytime you get one, and most importantly, do the SAM Trials. SAM Trials spawn in the map randomly every couple rounds, and when completed, they can give some of the greatest rewards in the entire game. But the thing that we're after is, you guessed it, salvage! Even if you only complete the lowest tier trial reward, the game's still gonna give you like 300 salvage, and most of the time it gives way more than that. Every time a trial spawns in the map, kill most of the round, save one or two zombies, then go and complete the trial. If you do this all the way up to round 40, you will gain so much for salvage and these challenges are for the most part pitifully easy so just don't skip them while you're going through the rounds make sure you're progressively upgrading your guns however don't upgrade your starting weapon to orange rarity after round 30 there's a good chance the gs45 wall buy can upgrade to orange rarity so if it does just go ahead and buy it and you'll save 5,000 salvage on the upgrade however if the wall buy just isn't upgrading to orange and you're getting sick of waiting just go ahead and buy the purple rarity version and then spend the 5k salvage. You can upgrade your starting weapon all the way up to Pack-a-Punch level 3 and purple rarity, but if you upgrade it to orange rarity, it's pretty much just a waste of salvage because we're going to be getting rid of it for the pistols anyway. Try not to wait any longer than round 40 to buy those pistols. Survive these rounds efficiently, I would just train the zombies in front of the void cannon trap. Once you build up a horde, pull out the wonder weapon and mesmerize the zombies, then switch to your other weapon and just get some headshots. This should wipe out the rounds pretty quickly until round 30 plus, and when amalgam spawns, on it, just train them around with the zombies, slowly put some damage on them after mesmerizing them with the wonder weapon. This is also the part where Ether Shroud or the Energy Mine could help out quite a bit, so remember that. And one final tip to mention is, if you fully upgrade your combat knife and put Napalm Burst on it, you can run up to the Manglers and insta-kill them if you slash them on the arm cannon. I've actually been using this to help control the Manglers a little bit while training all the way past round 40. Just make sure you upgrade the knife with purple or orange rarity Ether tools. Try not to waste salvage 
on that. So it's time for the dreaded Super Sprinter rounds. In case you didn't know, in Black Ops 6, Super Sprinters begin spawning on round 41 instead of 51, so that makes training a bit more difficult. Although, not impossible. I've actually been able to consistently train on this map past round 50, but you absolutely will need that fully upgraded knife to pick off the manglers. If you don't feel like training anymore and you saved up a ton of salvage, we can just go start the camping strat now. There's actually two of these strats I'll show you, but we'll go ahead and start with the most overpowered one. If you go to the lab where the wonder weapon was built, you'll see that there's two spawn points for the zombies. If you end the round in this room and save and quit while in the room, when you load back into the game, all of the zombies will only spawn from these two barriers. This makes the rounds go incredibly fast. So what's the catch? The catch is you need to use a mutant injector basically every single round. Basically, you're going to stand in the back of the room, wait for the zombies to spawn, and then you'll activate your injector. Just stand there and use the melee until the zombies quit spawning. But make sure that you don't kill them before they exit the barrier. If you do, they're not going to drop any salvage. Once all the zombies are dead, the round's still not over. For some reason, the manglers don't like coming in this room very often, so you're going to have to exit the suit, go hunt them down at the end of each round. But this is also a good thing, because when you kill manglers without using streaks, they have a high chance of dropping injections and other streaks themselves. So this is a great opportunity to get a free mutant injector. Now, if they do drop a chopper gunner, you actually can use that as well. But just make sure that you kill off some of the round before you jump into it. Use the pistols and the beam smasher as like a combo. And when you are ready to use it, make sure you're standing in front of the doorway. This blocks the zombies from escaping and basically makes it so you can just pile them up and kill them. Now, if the manglers don't drop any streaks at the end of the round, you can still go check in the armory in between rounds and see if you get lucky. I have gotten plenty of mutant injectors and even casimirs and monkey bombs and other equipment, so make sure that you check that armory. Once the round's over, run back to the room and rinse and repeat. Believe it or not, these final 50 rounds will be the easiest. The hardest part of this strategy is the setup, and getting all the salvage required to set up. But once you've done that, this is the easiest and fastest strat I've ever witnessed to reach round 100. The only thing left to mention at this point is usually around round 85 and up, the rounds just get a little bit too long for the injector to comfortably wipe them out. So this is where you're going to start spawn trapping. The spawn trap, it's easy. Just stand right on top of the spawn point on the left and shoot into the window. Once you start doing this, you'll notice that the rounds will start flying by. The only downside is that you're not going to get any salvage for this, but like I said before, as long as you got a few free injections from the manglers or the armory, you should be fine. Unless this happens. Yep, even with an overpowered strat like this, mistakes can happen. Happen. And what happens when you take it down? If you happen to have a chopper gunner or a mutant injector, use it immediately. If you don't, you're gonna have to do a little bit of training around this area. Try to do a loop while building up a horde and then activate this trap and slide underneath it and then hide in this corner for a few seconds so the trap can get some of the kills, then immediately bolt straight for the crafting table, buy a mutant injector, and wipe out the round. Just make sure you save a mangler or a zombie or something, that way you can rebuy your perks. Also, don't forget to buy a mutant injector and a self-res kit. If you have an energy mine ready or monkey bombs, these can help you out in this situation as well. This is by far the best strat to use on Terminus if you're trying to hit round 100, but unfortunately, it is so overpowered that Treyarch might end up nerfing this at some point. So just in case they do, I am going to show you guys another strat that I use to reach round 100. I'll be completely real with you. This strat is much harder than the other one, and it's also nowhere near as efficient or safe. That being said, it is still safer and faster than training. To do this one, we will need the wonder weapon and the mutant injector every single round. Remember that door that I told you to keep closed at the beginning of the video? Well, this is why. We're going to use this room for the strat. At the start of the round, use the beam smasher to slow down the zombies in the barrier and at the doorway, and you're going to keep slowing them down until you fire your last bit of ammo in the mag. Once you fire the last shot, the gun is going to produce some kind of shockwave effect, which will both knock down and damage the zombies, and that's when you're going to pull out the pistols and just start demolishing this horde. Kill off as much of the round as possible. Then, once you start getting overwhelmed, jump into the mangler suit. If you killed enough of the round with the pistols, then the injector should be able to get you through the rest of it. That is, until you get past round 70 or 80. That's when the injector won't be able to finish off the rest of the 
the round. So what you need to do at that point is just run back to the room and repeat the same process as before. Buy an injector, slow down the zombies, let the shockwave trigger, blast the zombies with the pistols, use your energy mine, and hopefully that will finish the remainder of the round. But if it doesn't, just jump back into the mangler suit. Obviously, we're going to need a bit more salvage for this strat since you basically need two injections per round, at least after round 80. But as long as you did well enough in the first 40 rounds, saving salvage and doing SAM trials, you should be fine to still hit 100. The one upside to this strat is if you do end up taking it down, thankfully the crafting table is right in front of you. Just get back up, immediately toss a monkey, and go to the table, buy an injector and a self-res. Then just save a zombie or a mangler and rebuy your perks. I have used both of these strats to hit 100 multiple times, and I can assure you guys they both work like a charm. I really hope they're both able to help you guys hit 100 as well, and if they do, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and good luck.